Oh. Yo, this D Goods. And I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got D Goods off the porch with us today. You know, what's up, man? Everything is all good, man. And shout out Dirty Club, man. You know, this relationship go back a minute, man. You know oh, yeah. Saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the blog era, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Appreciate you coming by, man. What are you working on here in Atlanta for this trip? Uh, I was doing some little press for this Bronco. Just dropped the day out everywhere, man. New project, Bronco, man. Doing this thing. So it's moving around, you know trying to push this music independently man okay okay that's it yeah we'll get to the project in a while um but what's life like in nashville these days man nashville it's crazy man you know i will say it's progressive all right we got condos getting built everywhere you feel me like it's all type of new stuff new people moving to the city so it reminds me of like atlanta like 2007 to 2010 era, feel me? When it was like, I mean, I seen it as like, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of rebuilding being done and you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, so I can see what they doing. You know I mean? They trying to get the downtown areas, you know, making the city bigger. So yeah. Cool. yeah, I've been seeing, it's one of the fastest growing cities. A lot of folks moving in from there. How much has that changed the city or the people inside of the city? Um, I'm gonna say this. All right, uh, Nashville is still a segregated city. You feel me? Not like on some like in your face racism, like ah, don't no colors. You know what I mean? Nothing like that. But like on some like just societal, right? And uh, uh, I would say classism. You know? So for example. Music City, right? But ain't no hip hop venues. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can't go do no rap shows on Broadway. You feel me? Which is like the biggest music street in Tennessee. You know what I mean? So it's just that in itself. Like whenever they change their mind frame, then Nashville could do something. But yeah, you know, until then I'm be moving around. You know, because <laughs> yeah, you be out in LA a lot now too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be out in LA. Uh, be in New York, be everywhere, wherever the money at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Fine, man. How, how does LA compare to Nashville then? Um, you know, we in the future when we in LA, you know what I'm saying? We in the future. Um, to keep it all the way a thousand, like I just rock with just the whole like West Mind state, like people out there just it's liberal, feel me? So I guess that's the right term to use. It's liberal, you know. So, yeah. um, you know, it's it's, it's it's opportunities for advancement for like young black men like myself. So you know, I like to hang out out there. You know. Yeah. Cool. Nah, I dig it, man. Um, like we mentioned from the blog era, man, and you're still independent. Still independent, baby. <laughs> hey, you feel me? I'm. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It ain't like I've been out here just caking up like a lot has been some trial and error and stuff you feel me so i'm at the point now where like i know what i'm doing though you feel me like in the game done changed like four times oh yeah like since you know <laughs> what i mean i started so it just it just feel good to be like to be here like when i started i was broke as a motherfucker like, i ain't had nothing you know what i mean i got out the mud you know and i got the knowledge along with it you know what i'm saying so I got the wounds, I got everything, I got the scars, you know? So it's like, like I'm here, man. I got the, now. I, it's gonna allow me to go to other levels of the music game beyond the artists, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what my original plan was. You know, when I first started rapping, like when I was like in middle school, I wanted to be P Diddy, you feel me? I want to be Diddy, like I'm trying to be a mogul, you know what I'm saying? So that's still the mind frame, you know? Yeah. For sure. And like you said, several changes, you know, it was CD sales, it was free mixtapes. Now yeah. it's the streaming era. Right. SoundCloud, all of that, that done failed. Like, I remember that was the only way you get on. You, mm -hmm. you do a SoundCloud playlist, you feel me? Playlisting on the streaming sites ain't even hot no more. You feel me? Like, I'm, if you're watching this interview, you just now getting in the playlist and you late, bro. You feel me? Like, 
them them already bought up, man. We already did that. You know what I'm saying? Like hustlers like me, we went already seeing them small sites. Small, you know what I mean? Had twenty thousand there. We already cashed them out, brother. You feel me? So <laughs> if you waiting for that now, you know what I'm saying? It's over with, man. We on to the next, man. Yeah. So and the game is a it's a beautiful thing though, you know? Mm-hmm. Good to see it. Like like I was telling like, with y'all, like Look at how much y'all advanced. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's good to see. You feel me? The oh, good yeah. people moving up and all that. So Yeah. No, I appreciate that, man. So what inspires you uh, you know, to keep going, to keep pushing? Cause I'm sure there's been plenty of times where you wanted to give up or thought about giving up or Yeah, for sure. I mean, you wanna know why? Cause like I ain't just like no typical rapper, like, you know what I'm saying? I I got a college degree. You feel me? So if I want to rap and I'm be getting money regardless, you know what I mean? Like, that's just how I'm coming about it. But to me, the rap game is just another lane of uh, income. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, the one thing that's kept me alive is what is, like, I give it my all, but I don't crash out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go do nothing that I can't be myself after I do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't cross that line and, you know, you, you can hang out for a while. You move like that. You feel I me? Mean? Like I said, uh, you know, luckily, like, shoot, I could look at Lido, bro. Lido, older than me, he's been doing his thing forever. You feel me? So, like, when you got people like, like, and then I, I grew up watching Yo Gotti. I actually said this on Twitter the other day. I bought a CD from him out there, Trump. Hmm. Like, when I first moved to Nashville from Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? Like at TSU, it was like homecoming or something. My, I remember one of my teachers in my high school went to high school with him or something. And she told me like, I was trying to do music. And she was like, hey, you need to come down here because my partner, he like the the dude, you feel me? Hmm. And I bought a CD out of this truck. Like, I remember that, that was crazy. You feel me? Like it was like a promo joint or something. You know what I mean? He was still, he was already like, you know, cats knew who he was, but he wasn't like, you know, yeah, to what he is today. <laughs> Blue Panama, Lambo, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's, you know, when you got, I'm, I'm thankful co- coming out of Tennessee, uh, we got black role models like that. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? You know, not not even just him. You know, you got 3-6 Mafia. You got A-Ball, MJG. You got, what, Drama Boy. You feel mm-hmm. me? Just so many cats, like, you feel me? That's just been doing their thing. And, you know, and you know, we go to them and you know what I'm saying? Like they give you some game. Shout out Young Buck. Young Buck like one of the first people ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me a shout out on some stuff. You feel me? Give me mm-hmm. some game. So, you know, I just respect the, the OGs, man. Respect the OGs, man. I was raised different, man. You know, I ain't I don't it ain't some people probably be like, oh, you be dick sacking, man. No, I just respect, bro. You feel me? Like raised different, bro. You gotta get respect where it's due. You feel me? That's how you keep moving in this game. Yeah, not real shit, man. All right, let's take it back. Um, talk to us about this incident at SOBs in New York when you got shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. 2013, bro. Um, and I call it, uh, it happened on September 11th, too. Oh, shit, did it really? You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, it's, just a, it's a crazy day for me. I was chilling, bro. I was uh doing some... So I do a lot of behind the scenes work, feel me? Like the whole time I've been rapping, like I said, like, you know, I rap, bro, but I never really had like the big dope boy behind me that had a budget or the crazy plugs, you feel me, in the game and all of that. So I just been out in the field, getting it in, building these relationships, like linking up with people, you feel me? Like actually being out here, not being afraid of my people. And you know what I'm saying? Just building these organic relationships, you know what I'm saying? So. And everybody that I kick it with ain't like me. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I pretty much, you know, I, I'm cooling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I act up a little bit, but, you know, for the most part, I'm chilling, you know? Um, but, you know what I'm saying? Get to hang around different people, man, different circumstances, take, take heed and, you know, and shit, man. You know, luckily, uh, having grew up and I've been in, Nashville is where I went to high school at, by the way, you feel me? So I grew up in Detroit, South Side, Chicago. I'm talking about like in the hundreds, you know what I'm saying? My family like went to Julian, you know what I'm saying? Like anybody watching this interview, y'all gonna know where that's at, you know what I mean? So war zone, you know what I mean? 
uh, Chicago, Illinois, West Baltimore City. Feel me? My mother, y'all want me to fact check? I'm from a group in the village, Emerson Village. My mother taught at Emerson High School for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, right? And then from there to Nashville, you know? So um, I've been around those situations already a gazillion times. This, it just was different when you actually get hit, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm blessed to be here, man. It was a blessing in disguise. Had to learn how to walk again, whatever. I had PTSD for a minute. Couldn't do no shows or nothing like that. But and then, then I couldn't get nobody to book me. I couldn't get no booking agent. It was like, it seemed like right after I got shot, then like, that, that was like the thing to do. You feel me? In hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, some shit, the shit in New York, uh, that, uh, Blow had died from, with the Troy Ave shit that happened, like, right after that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like a plethora of, like, shootings, you know what I mean? So, for a minute, I couldn't get no booking agent. Like, this is like the height of my shit. I'm on different websites and all type of shit every day, hmm. getting shows. I'm popping it. I'm living in New York, you know what I mean? Like, I'm wherever all the media sites is, and it's like, I couldn't walk, bro. And so, it's, it was just different, man. Changing my friend, you know, I'm blessed to be here, like I said, man. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just thankful that God had a different plan for me, you know? You never know. Yeah. Did, I, did that incident change how you kind of move around or were you just not even the target for that thing? I'm going to be honest, right? Before then, I would say, like, you think... You move around in the streets and do a little street stuff and you think you like, ah, oh, I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying, right? But then like you get shot, right? And then you be like, hold up. Like if I even if I'm on point, the worst can happen, you know? So now like it'd be like certain things like I used to I was everybody would tell you before I got shot, it wasn't nothing that I wasn't at. Feel me? In any city. You know what I mean? We're talking about events, shows, like pop-ups, whatever. I'm there. You know what I mean? That was just my mind state. Like, I got to get it. I'm going to turn this up. I need to turn my, push my brand, push my line. I'm about to go where everybody at. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Every city. And, uh, you know, not even caring about, like, who the event might be with. Like, it's, I was, I've been in worse situations. You know what I'm saying? But after the game popped, it was just like, you know what? Unless I'm getting paid, I don't think I did anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's real you know you me? So, like you know what I mean like I don't know I still kick it with some of my homies and all that but like just out here just moving around and wasting energy and time like trying to be cool and shit nah fuck that you know? yeah. cool on that and uh you had collaborated with Mac Miller back in the day yeah 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 R.I.P. great man yeah. R.I.P. Mac Miller man Mac Miller was a solid dude man he um he did me and Sala actually. I was just like getting into the blog world and uh I'm gonna keep it real about this, all right? Okay, I was just getting into the blog world. At the time, currency was the hottest nigga in weirds, currency and weirds, yep. you feel me? So to my mind state, dog, like, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. C- being a dude coming out the South, man, the first thing you learn how to do is copy. Right? Until you learn the game. And you be like, nah, I ain't supposed to do that. Feel me? Right? But you want to be successful. You see some successful shit. So you like, I'm like, damn, this nigga Spitter is a nigga just like me. He will come. He, I'm talking about he pull up. I'd, I booked him for a show in Nashville. Like, that's another thing I was doing in the beginning. So I was booking my own shows. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like, so I bought like Spitter, Crit. I don't even, so many different people, bro. You feel me? Through Tennessee. And, uh, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mac Miller was just, I was cool with his manager, Q, and shit. And uh, at the time, I was doing the smoke raps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, like <laughs> I'm saying, like, you know, trying to be on the successful platforms and shit. And, uh, and you know, Mac Miller just, you know, he caught heat in my music, and we redid uh, Definite Dude joint. He put that on, like, one of his biggest mixtapes, like, to date, you feel me? And Shoot, I mean, people still hit me today because it's like grown men. They grown men now. You know yeah. what I mean? They'd be like, <laughs> like, bro, I used to listen to that song in high school. It was my joint. You know what I mean? Like, 
So, man, RIP the great, man. Cool dude, man. Shout out Q, too, man. For sure, man. All right. Um, talk to us about the situation, this beef with uh, Isaiah Rashad. <sighs> All right, man. Isaiah Rashad. I never even knew the nigga. Like, no cat. Never met him, never seen him, none of that, right? I'm going to break the internet today, all right? Before I met this dude, he was a cameraman. I did know that. Before I, like, heard of this dude, he was a cameraman. I did know that. Um, at the time, I was, like, just coming up on getting shows and shit, and some people was gassing me. You know how people be like, oh, you need a social media strategy, some shit like that. You know, somebody see you having a little bit of paper, they try going in your pocket. So I got people running my social media, all right? This dude is sending me fan mail the entire time. Like, no cap. I got it in my phone. I brought it today if I need to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if y'all want to see it, I got it for you. You know what I mean? Just tell me why I need to post it and I post it. You know what I mean? So I knew nothing about this. First of all, it's through Facebook. Feel me? Like, do I look like a Facebook ass nigga? No. You feel me? I don't be on Facebook, bro. So I ain't know what was going on, right? So imagine this nigga sending you mess sending me messages I never respond to, I don't know. And but the person that's doing my social media, he starts responding. And he like, yo, you know, D don't this ain't his, he don't run his page, bro. Like, I run his page, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm telling him, I'm I tell him what you said, you know what I mean? And I don't know if he got like butt hurt by the response or everything. So it was like, you know, whatever. And uh Cup like you know a minute later. This is before I got shot. He dropped the song. I seen like Rosenberg or somebody like added me and was like, like talking about because he 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 dissed me in the song. Like you feel me, it's his first single. You feel me? Like he say my name in that joint. You feel me? I'm like now I'm just me, bro. I ain't never had no manager. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't never had no type of structure. And me in this music business, like, this is, you are looking at a finesse guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody that is getting where he fit in. You feel me? And uh, so I was confused. Like, this man came to TD, not even to mention, like, I had met them niggas before. Like, me and Ali almost got a charge together. Like, on some, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I met Kendrick. You feel me? Like, so them niggas knew me, like, I the dude that was managing at the time, I think Musa, you feel me? Like, hmm. like them niggas knew me, you feel me? So, um, he, the disc dropped earlier, right? They didn't get no buzz, you feel me? He dropped it like on SoundCloud or something. Nobody know what this dude is, you feel me, right? Now, let me tell you, this is the beginning of trolling, all right? This trolling is not even, people try and do it on the net, but it ain't hitting, all right? Now I get shot. 2013, September 11th, that shit go viral. I'm everywhere, like, like I'm I'm on BT, bro. They was talking about me on BT, like New York Times, all that about the shoot. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So this popping, right? Bro got the video on that, I guess just on, but it wasn't hitting. You know what I'm saying? He ain't drop it yet because the song wasn't hitting. Now. Guess what the song called? Shot you down. Guess what happens to be good? He gets shot. Feel me? Perfect time. Nigga dropped the song the next day or some shit like that, right? So now to everybody in the world, it's like, damn, did Isaiah Rashad have something to do with these goods getting shot? Because this nigga got shot. You know what I'm saying? You listen to the song, all the song gotta do is be 10% good. You feel me? First couple, oh, this all right. You feel me? Like. Literally the hottest part of the song is nigga saying my neck. You feel me? So I'm like, I am like, you know, it was a cheap shot. Um, I'm just my early stages in the industry. You feel me? Like, I ain't seen no shit like this. The only shit I ever seen in the magnitude of this shit, because I'm talking about nigga had bots on me and everything. Hmm. I'm battling the label, bro. Like, Twitter, my Twitter was crazy. Like, I knew niggas ain't even know who this nigga was, but for some reason, everybody was talking about this one line, you feel me? Twitter marketing and social media marketing from a label in the early stages, you feel me? So 
they had my shit washed and you know people seeing this shit they don't know what the fuck going on they just want to be entertained you feel me um i'm confused at the time because i'm like shit i'm really in some street shit going on you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm really can't walk you know what i'm saying the nigga do boiler room feel me he does a uh, boiler room which is uh like you know a live performance show in mm-hmm. new york um, my homegirl was promoting it and she just happened to tell me that I, she I don't think she even knew nothing about it. But she was like, yo, then you coming through Boiler Room tonight? I got so-and-so, so-and-so, and Isaiah Rashad. I'm in the studio like, what? Feel me? At the time, I'm moving around with some uh, Lower East Side Spanish dudes and some Bronx Spanish dudes. They on some shit. You feel me? Like, so they like, yo, fuck that. Let's go. We pulling up. I pull up to Boiler Room, bro. As I get in there, my boy Mark from Rocksmith is in there at the door and Scissor, right? I got records with Scissor. You can look that up. You feel me? Scissor, my homegirl. Peace and love, Scissor. You know what it is. You feel me, right? Scissor right there, she like, yo, D, relax. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Mark is like, relax, you know? I think it was, I want to say punch too. I don't, excuse me, I don't know. You feel me? I'm not really familiar with a team like that, but, uh, uh, I don't know, one of them was like that. They was like, yo, chill, chill, you know. We just found out about this. We don't know nothing what's going on. So I'm walking in there and nigga performing the song, though. So I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Because now people see me in there, and now they're like, oh, shit. So I had to hit them like, homie on juice. I came in, bitch, with my hoodie on. And as he was performing the mic, just mugged his ass. Like, hey, man, stop playing with me. You feel me? His DJ came over there. He was the most gangster dude. Because he came immediately was like, like, man, what's up, bro? Like, you feel me? Right? But I had the homies with me, so, you know, they instantly was, hey, bro, relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then, you know, of course, Boiler Room shut down. They kicked us out. We outside. As I'm getting outside, bro, you know, TDE, the camp, they put me over there like, yo, goods, what's up, nigga? We know you. You feel me? Like, what's this about, nigga? I'm like, bro, your man dissing me on the song. I just got shot. Y'all see me in the crutches. I'm literally in there on crutches. You feel me? And like, you feel me? Like, so I'm like, on some real shit, bro. This nigga trying, like, y'all with a major label, bro. I'm independent, bro. Like, what y'all trying to stop my plate? I just did some HBO shit. Like, I'm coming up. You feel me? I'm like, y'all trying to stop me from eating? I'm like, all I want to, y'all from LA, bro. Let me get the fade. We do. We call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just going to have my homies record. I'm going to wash him. We lit now. You know what I'm saying? Homie jumps in the car and he won't come out the car. And after that, it was just like, it felt gay. Now, excuse me. It felt weird. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, excuse me. No disrespect to, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. But it just felt weird. Like, I'm not no bully and I don't do no aggressive shit. I'm all positive about the money and the women. You feel me? Like, I'm about getting this paper. I'm about success. I ain't never hated on nobody in my life. I'm pro black. You feel me? Like, I'm about everything this culture. I can't do nothing against somebody that look like me. Feel me? Like, I can't do nothing like that. Right? So it hurt me the most because it's a prominent black label, bro. Feel me? Like, this is one of the biggest things to happen in black culture in the last 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Right? Why are y'all hating on another black dude, bro? Y'all could have dissed Macklemore, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you could have went and dissed anybody, bro. You go after a dude from your city. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was at the time more popular than you. Yeah, I get it. I understand, bro. You was trying to get hot. You need to get you, you know what I'm saying? You get you some buzz, bro. You could have paid for that. Y'all niggas had it. You know what I'm saying? Could have came to me. We could have came up with something. Could have did that. You feel me, right? But the sucker shit, that's whack. And then it's so sucker because I ended up seeing dude at Complex Con. God let the shit just happen like this. Complex Con, I think Pharrell is performing and doing something, right? I'm in there with my Armenian, my Armenian homies in, in, uh, in, uh, fucking LA, right? Long Beach. And we in the venue, bro. My homie tapped me on the shot. He like, bro, that's that nigga right there. All uh, my boys instantly, like, you know, I ain't on that. You feel me? But they like, it's complex con. We about to get some strikes. They rap. You feel me? <laughs> like, I ain't going to tell y'all who it was. Because if I tell y'all to rap my name, y'all be like, oh, he was definitely going to do it. You feel me? 
So he's a very viral person. He does this shit all the time. And this dude was like, oh, we about to get some stripes off, homie. You feel me? Like, I'm like, bro, I guess dude seen it. I'm literally just standing there laughing because I see these niggas about to circle him. He comes and runs to me and hugs me. I swear to God, God strike me down. Take everything from me, bro. The man came and hugged me and was like, bro, I'm sorry. I love you. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? I, I have no issue with you, man. I promise, man. Like, it's good. And I was like, bro, I couldn't do nothing but just like, huh? Like, I was just so confused. I didn't understand it. Like, and I, like I said, I ain't had no beef with Bo. You feel me? So, but that's when right there, I was just like, all right, you know, this is, this is going too far, man. You know what I mean? But, uh, like I said, man, uh, I have no ill will toward the man. You feel me? But do I understand? Do I think that we the same type of dude? No. Are you cut from the same cloth as me? No. Um, are you a stand up guy? No. Do I feel like you're honorable? No. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it a thousand with you, you feel me? Like, cause in no other way would I ever hurt my own community. Feel me? It's no, you can't pay me no amount of dollars to go back and poison my community. You feel me? I don't care what nobody say. I don't care if it's me or him. You feel me? If it's me and them, you know what I mean? I'm bigger than that. I know what my purpose is and I know what I stand for. You know what I mean? I know the influence that I have. I know the things that I could do for my community. Now, let's just take that in reversal. Let's say that he didn't diss me. Let's say he would have put me on a feature on his debut single, right? Let's think about all the money that we would have brought to our city. Let's think about the lanes that we would have created for other artists that rap positively and ain't out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, after that moment, like, you feel me? Like, I used to rap conscious and I used to, you know, but from that morning, I hated the game and I just started rapping about real truthful shit now. You know what hmm. I'm saying? Like, this trap, this money shit, and the shit that niggas is facing every day. You feel me? Am I jaded? I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Just how it is. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is just a message to all young dudes coming up in the game, bro. Like, that hating shit is played out. They hating on dudes to get on, that's played out, bro. That doing sucker shit to go viral, that's played out. You gonna look up down the line, bro, and you gonna regret that shit. You know what I mean? Like, don't poison your community. Empower your community, bro. Bring people up with you. You feel me? Create jobs. Create roles. Do different things. You know what I mean? Choose positivity, man. And, you know, that's all I got to say about that. Sorry, gotcha. that shit was long. But nah, man. Clear it up. <laughs> clear it up. Yeah. no, nah, that's what's up, man. All right. Uh, talk to us about your relationship with uh, TK. TK is my dog. Shout out TK, Kimbro. Shout out Picasso, too, man. Feel me? Um, I actually met Picasso first. You feel me? Uh, shout out uh, Raven Savino. Uh, she's an artist, one of my good friends. She like uh, we came up together in this game, and uh, Picasso used to be like manager her and stuff like that. So, you know, I would see them around, and, you know, just a mutual respect for each other and the grind, and just you know, seeing what each other had on. I mean, uh, had going on. I, I met them in New York, uh, like a little bit of time before I got shot, I believe, and. Uh, from then, we just, you know, we was cool. At the time, like I said, I was kind of doing my thing in the blog world. And was, you know, we just all was a family. TK from my city, you know, um, he actually came up there and he was like, he found out that I was from the city, that I was from New York or something, by the way I was moving around, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, you know, we just been cool ever since, man. Uh, shout out to TK for being um, a mentor to young black men across America, you feel me? Like, I seen him take a lot of young dudes who probably would be doing worse things uh, up under his wing, put him on the road, teach him how to, you know what I'm saying, put out projects and, you know, just give him an opportunity, man. You know, we need more of that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and another thing is like, he'll teach you how to do it too. Like, in, in no given point, is he like going to rape you out the game or something like that? Or like, you know, tell you some false stuff. Like, he going to give you the red pill and the blue pill. You know what I'm saying? That's up to you to choose what pill you going to take. But... You know, like, he's a good dude, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to him. Shout out to the whole all team. team. Um, you know, everybody over there. And uh, I appreciate them rocking with me. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, was it TK that kind of hooked you up with uh, Shoreline Mafia and got you touring with them? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Shoreline. Shout out Shoreline, man. Uh, I had the first show I did with them is in Nashville. And, uh, I mean, we were just cool. You feel me? Like, youngins, you know, they – fly about getting money and kicking it, you know. Well, it was easy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Same shit I be on, you feel me? So shout out Phoenix, OGs, Rod, Kato, you feel me? Uh, all them dudes, you know what I'm saying? They was doing their thing, man. And, uh, you know, shout out to them for allowing me to go on the road with them as many times as they did. Shout out uh, One Take J, AZ Chike. Let me go on the road with them too. Um, man, it's just, it's been a cool experience, man. It's so crazy because I got to see the rise of like the whole new West Coast right now. Mm. Like, like, Rucci and you know what I'm saying? Like I said, one take, AZ Chike, uh, Kalon, like, like all of them out there doing their thing, man. Uh, we was on the road together, man. So, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. Shout out to everybody over here in the West doing their thing, man. Yeah. And their shows be crazy. Man, I'm talking about the best experiences of my <laughs> life, bro. Like, for real. Like, I don't know if y'all seen it or not. Look on my Instagram. Check out that show footage, man. It's just going down. As soon as Corona over with, you know, we back on the road. <laughs> feel me? Just let up. Straight up. Yep. Um, all right, let's talk about that new project, Bronco. Bronco. <laughs> Explain that title, Bronco. Bronco, man. Uh, Bronco means to me like fast life. Hmm. So uh, in the project, uh, All right, man. It's on some like cowboy, you know what I mean? Western expansion type stuff. In the beginning, you know, back in the day, uh, you know, most of the early cowboys, they was black, man. It was the boys that go tend the cows. You feel me? Like, who are the boys? The slaves, you know what I'm saying? Go out there and tend the cows. So, you know what I mean? Now, the early free slaves, they was running out and they ain't had no way to employ themselves, but they know how to do field work. You know what I mean? They know how to deal with the shit with the cattle and the horses and all of that stuff. You feel me? Because that's what, you know, most of them was doing that. So when they started uh, pushing west and everything else on the frontier and all of that, you know, it was just a way for them to make money. And, uh, you know, it was a lifestyle. 2020, same shit going on, brother. You feel me? If you don't know, then you know. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's a lot of money going on out west and a lot of people from all areas moving out there. And, uh, you know, changing their life, man, on some legal, you know, not even having to uh, do nothing illegal and be away from their families and nothing like that, man. If y'all don't, I'm talking about talking about the motherfucking cannabis industry, man. You feel me? If you don't, it's so, you know, they got different grants and different things for you to go out there and be fully legal and uh, get your paperwork right. And, you know, you can, in today's time, you can start your own strand and, you know, I'm just seeing a lot of wealth being built from uh, these times, man. And uh, it was inspiring to me to talk about some of the things that I've seen uh, from these specific cowboys that live this Bronco lifestyle. You know, so I'm say it like that. <laughs> All right. And uh, the sound of your music has changed uh, more recently to kind of a, a West Coast sound. Can you talk about that? Yeah, hey, man, you know, I'm... The bops got me, bro. You feel me? Like <laughs> what they call them out there, the highness. You gotta make something for the highness. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but uh, it's like you know, I, I like the bops, man. I like to stay fresh and new, man. Like you know, I stay on top of whatever it is. Uh, I consider myself a fan of hip hop before fully, um, before artistry. So I get excited about new vibes like a regular person, you know what I mean? I like making music. I'm a songwriter, I'm a producer, as well as an artist, so, like, it's all about the vibe to me and, you know, just whatever makes me feel good. And, in the, you know, in the past couple of years, going on the road with Shoreline and uh, these shows live, it just, just changed you, bro, like, you know what I mean? I'm, 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 past couple of years, I've more so been kicking in the LA and the Bay more often, you feel me? It's, you know, I've been on that type of time, man. You know, it's, you know, I'm always stay fresh and new. I think that's how you, you know, what, what Lloyd Banks say, switch the style up, watch the money pile up. Bow. You feel me? <laughs> so, like that. All right. All right. So, what's the single that you're pushing off of Bronco right now? Well, it's three. Um, uh, my favorite one is Move Along, uh, produced by my boy, Nike Boy. Uh, Y'all going to hear about him, too. Mikey Boy is doing his thing, you feel me? He got a lot of the underground West Coast records. If you ain't hit the Nike Boy as a producer, you better get hip to him now because the price probably just went up another $1,000 right now. You know what I'm saying? 
you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, uh, move along. Got that joint out, man. I got uh, On Silent. It's bumping two on there. And then uh, Where the Bread At. Got some jams, a couple jams on there. I got a joint with Kevin McCall. Shout out Kevin McCall, man. Um, doing that for me. I got uh, Sherry Dennis on there. Shout out Sherry Dennis, man. That's my people. Uh, you know, man, we just working. Shout out Lil Stain. I got Lil Stain on there. New artist up out of Nashville doing his thing. Y'all gonna hear about him. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's, it's cooking up, man. We just new vibes, man. You know, trying to stay alive in the rap game, man. Do you have a personal favorite song on this album? Yeah, yeah, Move Along, for sure. Move Along, okay. Move Along is definitely the banger. You know, that's just my lifestyle, you know. If you ain't buying no money, Move Along. Straight up. <laughs> All right. Um, so talk to us about this incident where you pulled over here in Atlanta recently. Oh, man. Bro, y'all are tripping on him, bro. <laughs> Douglasville Police, bro. I'm talking about six cars deep, four bangers on me, me and my wife on Father's Day. It was crazy. Man, it was crazy. Uh, you know, of course, I, that shit happened to me like at least once a quarter. You know what I'm saying? Right? But my wife, that probably never happened to her before. And she was one of them people like, she one of them people like, she hit a Black Lives Matter shit if they see it. If, if they saying it on Basketball Wives, she know about it. You know what I mean? So she one of them, like, you know what I mean? She ain't really just all, you know, like, like power and all of that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But she, she, she stayed a little bit, you know what I mean? So for her, but she never really, it never was real to her. So like, for example, I had just protested in Nashville, like, like a week before, a couple weeks before. And uh, she was like, why are you going out there? You going to catch COVID. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's how my state, you feel me? I'm like, man, you know, I got to do this for my people. You don't know what I done been through. I got I got to stand for something. You know what I'm saying? Right? But after that happened, she was, you know, she was kind of just, she started crying and all of that. The, the police chief, I think the chief of their little joint came out there and trying to talk to her. She was, because, you know, they messed up, man. Like, you know, and that's, they mess up a lot, man. You feel me? And you know, luckily, I'm a um, I'm an intelligent, educated young man, and I can and I can communicate, and I know the pro- I know the routine. You know what I'm saying? I know the procedure. So they pulling me over. They didn't even tell us to pull over. A cop followed us for maybe three or four miles, right? And uh, I'm like, well, baby, they she driving. I'm like, baby, they trying to get our tags. Go ahead, let them get our tags. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't got nothing going on here. This weed in my pocket. I'm about to eat that. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't got nothing going on, right? We driving, dude, we pull up, he pull up on the side. I'm like, all right, we look, all right, he go. He get back behind us and he pull over to the right, right? Maybe a minute later, I see a slew of cop cars in the back coming with the lights on. I'm like, damn, who they after, baby? Like, this shit crazy. Like that, the sunlight, like, you know? So we go, we get into the right lane and we see him coming, right, strong. Then they just swoop on us. Ooh. Like, so bad that we just had the on the side. And then they hopped out. Bow. Hands up. Get your hands up. Da, 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 da. We couldn't even. All I heard was hands up. But it was like, on the thing. So I'm like, that's they fucked up, number one. You couldn't communicate clear. You know what I'm saying? Right? Being that I know the procedure, I'm like, baby, this is what I want you to do. Take your hands. It just put him out the window like that, right? So she did that. I'm swallowing the weed, <laughs> feel me, right? <laughs> it was like a shark lotto package. I'm in here trying to toss that. So, you know, I'm mean? blowing it, making sure no residue. <laughs> my hands out the window. Left my phone though, like a dummy. You know what I'm saying? Then dude finally, the lady, you got the car first. He like, move backward. Move, she like move backwards. What? He's like, no, to the towards me. All right, that was they wrong communication part two. You feel me? So just imagine I do something wrong. You feel me, right? Then I'm in there and I'm like, shit, my phone is in my lap. You feel me? My hands out the window though. So they like step out of the vehicle, sir. Right? So I put my hands in uh to open the door. 
And they're like, no, no, open the car door from the outside. I'm like, oh yeah, my bad. Open the car door outside, I come out. They walking down on me. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Walk me in the car, I'm like, you know, I'm chilling. Cause at this point I'm like, my lawyer, Already get I might have cashed after them his thousand dollars right then. You feel me? Like just so I can let them know what's going on. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm just waiting for them to fuck up. Cause I'm gonna get me some bread. You know what I mean? <laughs> like so I'm in here, I'm like, I'm walk over there, hands up. Uh they tell us it was a shooting at a U-Haul or something, and he just happened to have the exact same car as mine. I'm like, same tags too? They like, nah, we didn't get all the information, you know. Wooty whoop. So I'm like, all right, you know. My wife boohooing, crying. They still got the guns on us, right? And then it comes in, like, they're like, where you guys come from? Tell them where I'm coming from, you know, how it can't be me and all that, right? And, you know, they eventually like, you know what? We're deeply sorry for wasting your time. Um, you know, I'm like, nah, you know what? Don't tell me I'm sorry. Tell my lawyer you're sorry, feel me? And I just wrote a complaint, man, so... Shout out to Douglasville Police uh, Department. I'm going to say this too. I don't hate the police, bro. I'm a thousand percent fuck the police, but I know some cool police officers that have saved me from some situations or to just have like, uh, it's definitely been some times where my life could have changed and some people gave me the opportunity to, you know what I mean? Do something different. You feel me? They gave me, like they let me off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say um, fuck all the police though. You know what I mean? But y'all got to change that stuff, man. Uh, I think that it's about uh, nonviolent tactics. The nonviolent tactics needs to be, need to be some type of uh, class given the police officers before they like able to give them, the, give them the gun. I think you should go like a year without giving the gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they got to, not only do you not, you can't have a gun, we got to drop you right off on Edgewood or like somewhere like crazy. You got to go on the south side. And you got to do that for a year with no gun before you can be a gun with an officer with a gun, right? If you in Nashville, we got to take you to JCUC. You're going to be right there. You got to patrol this no gun for a year before we give you a gun. You know, I think we'll solve all this police problems. You know what I mean? So in, in light of police and all of this stuff, man, I want to say free Draco the ruler, man. You feel me? Wrongfully incarcerated, man. That man got acquitted. And they still got that man behind bars, man. And, uh, you know, shout out his family. And uh, shout out that man for holding his head high. And he just dropped a dope project with my man Jug. We got something coming. It's going to be my first. I can't really talk about it. My biggest shit, though. You feel me? Going to be with Jug. And, uh, you know, once again, free Draco. You feel me? Well, that's what's up, man. Hey, that's a scary situation, I could imagine, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. For sure. Like, that ain't the first time that's happened, too, though, bro. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm covered in the blood, though. You know what I mean? Thankfully, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm good. Yeah. I D, You got Bronco out right now. What else you working on, man? What, what's to come with you? <laughs> I got a big joint with my man, Jug. Jug just stopped, dropped. Thank you for using GTL with Draco. Going crazy. I think they got, like, four stars on Pitchfork or something like that. Hmm. And uh, you know what I'm saying? We uh we got a major getting behind me for the first time, man. Okay. Reached the, reached the partnership situation, man. You know, I gotta keep it boss like. And uh, you know, shout out shout out to my man Jug for believing in me. We got this project, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be coming soon, man. I don't know what it's gonna be called. Uh I ain't got no title for y'all yet, but the music gonna be fire. It's gonna have some dope features on there, you know, from uh some of these new relationships. Over the past few years, some West Coast homies, down South homies. So, you know, it's continuing making good music, man. So we here for oh, That's what's up, man. All right. Any shout outs before we get you out of here? Uh, you know, uh, I want to shout out, uh, you know, the whole Tennessee. Shout out everybody doing their thing out the team. You know, all the up and coming artists. Shout out Alabama. I got a real close relationship with Alabama, too. Uh, shout out everybody out there. Shout out L.A., you know. It is what it is, man. Make sure y'all um check out my website, all goods, A L L G O D Z dot C O. Go buy you some merch. You know what I mean? Typical stuff, man. Bronco out now. You know, holla at me.
three for the bag. They're like, what are you?